welcome to every movie I've ever seen. This is a special May the 4th edition where throughout the month of May I'm going to be reviewing the fourth film in four film franchises. Uh, today, the movie that I'm going to be talking about is Killing Birds, aka Zombie 5 Killing Birds. And now you're thinking, wait a second, this is Zombie 5. I thought you were reviewing the fourth film, and I am. This is very this is a very interesting backstory to this. I'm not. I'm still not completely. You know, I still don't completely comprehend all that's going on. But from what I gathered, and this is the story, is that they made Dawn of the Dead, which in Europe was simply titled Zombie, with no e. I don't know if that's supposed to be pronounced Zombie, but I, I, I'm just going to assume it's Zombie. Uh, so in your so in Europe, that was marketed as simply zombie. I don't know why they didn't call it Dawn of the Dead. They called it zombie. And then eventually, uh, somebody in Italy, I think, made an unofficial sequel to Dawn of the Dead, which they would call Zombie 2. And then they made a Zombie 3, and I think that was the end of that. Now, in America, it's not zombie. It's Dawn of the Dead. So... They took the film Zombie 2 and released it as Zombie. And then uh, the next logical step would be to take Zombie 3 and release it as Zombie 2. They did not do that. They released Zombie 3 as Zombie 3. So in America, Zombie 2, aka Zombie, is not an actual sequel to Dawn of the Dead so that they don't treat it as such. So from what I understand, the franchise starts simply with Zombie, a.k.a. Zombie 2, and then goes on to Zombie 3. So there's, a, there's no Zombie 2. It goes Zombie, Zombie two, 3, and then they have Zombie 4, which is after death, I think. And then they have Zombie 5, Killing Birds, which is the movie that I'm talking about today. And I think it's only considered Zombie 5 or a zombie film in general in America, and since I'm, since I am American and I'm living in America, I'm gonna go by how the, uh, by how my fellow Americans do it. So it's kind of weird. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, I still don't really understand everything. But uh, yeah, so Killing Birds, aka Zombie Five, the fourth zombie movie in America which is, from also what I gather, is not a sequel to Zombie at all. Uh, it was just a random movie that I'm pretty sure us Americans attached the prefix Zombie 5 to. But uh, yeah, I saw it. It was on Tubi, so I didn't have to go searching for it or anything, so it was easy. Figured, why not? Uh, the movie is about a bunch of uh, college students in Louisiana. Maybe. I don't know if it starts in Louisiana. They go to Louisiana, which is interesting because uh, Hatchet, the Hatchet series takes place in Louisiana. So I'm seeing a trend. Do a lot of horror movies take place in Louisiana? Is that a thing? I don't know. So I don't know where they're starting. I mean, college someplace. And they're going on like an exposition, ex expedition to look for a missing bird. I guess it's like extinct or, or something, or endangered, and they're looking for it, and it takes them to, to Louisiana. And uh, along the way they get uh, attacked by zombies, ghosts maybe, not really sure what they're supposed to be. I don't think they're really supposed to be zombies, but you know, it's obviously Zombie 5, so we'll consider them zombies. Uh, and of course the movie has this like start off premise where a guy comes back from Vietnam and goes on a little murder spree, you know how it goes, and kills his, kills his wife, his wife's new lover, uh, I guess his parents as well. Uh, it says it was his parents on, online, but I was never established, it could be his in-laws. Uh, and they were, they were babysitting his 
infant son, and he, he lets his infant son live, and I guess a bird attacks him and claws out his eyes. I don't know, it was kind of random. So now he's blind, and I guess blind people can't take care of babies, so his son gets put into foster care. And it kind of seems irrelevant for a lot of the movie until they do end up bringing it back, which I was glad that they at least tied it back. It's not like Victor Crowley, where they had this random, extremely irrelevant opening in the beginning just for the sake of extra blood and gore. And, you know, at least in this movie, they did tie it back together, so that's, that's, that's something, I suppose. But yeah, and then, you know, the, these kids, they end up going on an exposition looking for a lost bird, and they encounter the Vietnam guy who's now older because he's a bird watcher. And, he, you know, he doesn't really watch birds because he's blind. He just listens to birds, and he, like, understands bird language because of this. You know, which I, I guess is relevant because... The zombies are attacking, and he's, like, listening to the birds, and he's learning information, I suppose, from these bird calls. I don't know what this information is. But, uh, yeah. And that's just, that's just general, the, the general movie. Uh, it's definitely Cabin in the Woods-esque. Not the movie Cabin in the Woods, but that, you know, horror trope Cabin in the Woods started with Evil Dead. But, but uh, uh, the movie was, the movie was fine. Uh, music was off. Music was very loud. Uh, you know, it was like the credits of a movie, but throughout the movie. So it was, it, it was weird. It wasn't exactly scary or anything. But it wasn't also it also wasn't too over the top. So I mean it's a it's halfway decent, you know, mostly forgettable movie, you know, horror movie. You know, at, at this time they had a lot of they had a lot of horror movies. You know, low budget, cheap, practical effects, and you know they didn't all hit the mark, but you know there were a lot of them, and there were. You know, there were a couple of good ones, and there were a, a lot of terrible ones, and then there were just, you know, mediocre, forgettable ones. I mean, this isn't something... You know, this wasn't terrible. And I feel like that's that's just kind of like the baseline that I'm going for here. It's just like, hey, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. So... Uh, I, it was... The ending was a little, a little odd. They talk about. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but uh, they were saying how the, well, the zombies didn't want to kill them because they weren't afraid of them. Although it did surely seem like, like they were afraid of them. And two of the deaths in the movie, uh, I don't think were actually zombie deaths. It's weird. You have a zombie movie, and you don't you don't have a whole lot of people in your movie, uh, there's the three chicks, the cop, and three dudes, I believe. So that's what, uh, that's... seven people, maybe? To have, like, seven people in your movie and two of them don't even die, and then two of th then of the five that do die, two of them die accidental deaths is kind of odd. The cop guy just kind of spontaneously combusts. I suppose there was gasoline leaking from the generator and that just caught fire somehow and he lit on fire and ran into the woods and died. And then another guy got killed by the generator too. So the generator, the generator in the house and zombies killed, killed the people. Because the other guy who got killed by the generator, 
he was wearing like a necklace and the necklace got caught in the gears of the generator and that like pulled him in and was like strangling him and cutting his neck and then he died from that. So I didn't, th I didn't think about that until just now. That two characters both got killed because of the generator in the house. Huh. But yeah, it was, it was fine. I mean, it doesn't, again, just like Victor Crowley, it doesn't exactly fit what I'm looking for here because uh, it wasn't really the fourth film, uh, although it was in America. They tried to put it as the fourth film, at least. Uh, it's, it's still not what I'm going for, and I don't know if I'm going to find anything that I'm going for because usually you don't end on four. If you can make it to four films in your franchise, usually the first two were popular enough to justify a fifth film or some type of reboot ten years later. I'm looking. I'm looking for a film that fits exactly what I'm looking for. I'll find it. But uh, until then, that's all I've got to say about Killing Birds, a.k.a. Zombie 5.